Structure of the Lungs and Breathing Rate by casescience.com. I'm now going to explain the overall structure of the respiratory system in humans. This here is the trachea. The trachea, otherwise known as the windpipe, connects the mouth and the nose to the bronchus. Bronchus is singular, but we've got two bronchi. Two bronchi, that is the plural. I'm now drawing our two lungs and our heart. So these are the two lungs and the heart. What I'm drawing here is the pleural membrane. The lungs are surrounded by the pleural membranes. These are a moist membrane so that the lungs can move freely inside the pleural cavity. The lungs are surrounded by our rib cage. They're surrounded by ribs. Ribs act to protect the lungs from damage via impact. Our bones called the ribs are connected via intercostal muscles. Intercostal muscles contract and relax to allow our rib cage to move up and out when we breathe in and down and in when we breathe out. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We breathe air in through our nose and our mouth, and that then goes down the trachea. The trachea then splits into two tubes called the bronchi, where air will move down into each lung via the bronchi. Each bronchus divides further to form bronchioles. Bronchioles act to supply each alveoli with air. We have as many as 30,000 bronchioles in each lung. Each air sac that I'm now drawing is called an alveolus. An alveolus is one air sac, but we have 600 million alveoli. Alveoli is the plural for alveolus. So these air sacs are called alveoli. Alveoli is where gas exchange happens. This here is the diaphragm. I'm now drawing the diaphragm. The diaphragm contracts and relaxes, controlling whether our lungs inflate or deflate. So when we inhale, we inhale air through our nose and our mouth. This then travels down the trachea, through our bronchi or each bronchus, into the 30,000 bronchioles in each lung. The bronchioles supply the air to the alveoli. The alveoli of which we have 600 million is where gas exchange happens in our lungs where oxygen is absorbed and CO2 is released back out into the atmosphere. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Steve takes 80 breaths in 8 minutes. We're going to work out his breathing rate in breaths per minute. So breaths per minute equals the total number of breaths divided by the time. So in this case, it's going to be 80 breaths divided by 8 minutes, which gives you 10 breaths per minute. During exercise, Steve goes from breathing 80 breaths in 8 minutes to 140 breaths in 8 minutes. So you do total number of breaths, which is 140, divided by the number of minutes, which is 8 minutes, which gives you an answer of... 17.5 breaths per minute. So as you can see, his breathing rate went up during exercise. His breathing rate increased to increase oxygen absorption into the lungs, for increased respiration, and to release more energy. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com 
for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.